Science Math Knowledge Practice Test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says, if negative 1 times 2x minus 11 equals 5 times x minus 9, then x equals. Again, on the ASVAB and PyCat, you're not going to have a reference sheet or a calculator. For that reason, I recommend you get in the habit of copying things down and working them out on your own scratch paper. In order to solve this equation for x, that is to get x equal to something by itself, the first thing we have to do is take this negative 1 and distribute it here and here respectively. And at the same time, we're going to take 5 and distribute it here and here respectively too. All right, so what is negative 1 times 2x? Again, a negative times a positive is going to be a negative, so this is negative 2x. Negative 1 times negative 11. A negative times a negative becomes positive, so this is positive 11 equals 5 times x is 5x. 5 times negative 9, a positive times a negative is going to be a negative. 5 times negative 9 is going to be negative 45. All right, so our goal now is to move all of our x's to one side of the equation and everything else to the other side of the equation. So I'm going to move my 2x over here via addition. And at the same time, I'm going to take this 45 and move it to the other side of the equation via addition as well. All right, negative 2x plus 2x crosses out. What is 45 plus 11? You should be able to do that mentally. 1 plus 5 is 6. Uh, 4 plus 1 is going to be 5 equals. What's 5x plus 2x? That's going to be 7x. Negative 45 plus 45, that crosses out. So we're left with 56 equals 7x. To get x by itself, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 7. This says x equals 56 divided by 7, which is 8. So x in this case is 8. All right, so the answer to this one is D. Now that you know that x equals 8, you can always quickly check your work by plugging in 8 for x and working this out accordingly. If after plugging in 8 for x, you get a true mathematical statement, uh, you know you did your work correctly. So this becomes negative 1 times 2 times 8 minus 11 equals 5 times uh, 8 minus 9. Uh, let's work out what's in parentheses first. This becomes negative 1 times 2 times 8 is 16. So this is 16 minus 11 equals 5. Uh, what is 8 minus 9? That's going to be negative 1. Uh, this becomes negative 1 times... Uh, 16 minus 11 is going to be 5 equals 5 times negative 1. This is negative 5 equals negative 5, which is a true statement. So I'm confident that D is in fact the correct answer.